I'm going to explain how to rinse the nose with salt water. Fill the bottle to the 200 ml fill line. If you've recently had surgery, it's important to use boiled water from the kettle. The water temperature should be around the same temperature as your body, not too hot and not too cold. If the water has cooled too much, you can reheat it in the microwave for 10 to 20 seconds. Always check the temperature of the water before using by placing your finger in the bottle. Then add a sachet of salt. Replace the lid of the bottle. There's a hole in the tip of the bottle. Cover that and then shake the bottle vigorously until all the salt is dissolved. Then lean over the sink with your face looking at the ground and insert the tip of the bottle into one nostril. Breathe through your mouth while squeezing the bottle. The salt water will enter one nostril and then come out the other side. Keep breathing through the mouth to prevent the salt water entering the throat. Squeeze half the bottle into one nostril, then take the bottle across to the other side, allow it to refill with air, and then squeeze again. Once the bottle is empty, you can blow your nose. Then take the lid off the bottle and rinse it thoroughly and allow it to dry completely between uses. Every few days it's important to wash the bottle in hot soapy water with a bottle brush or use a cleaning solution that you can purchase from the pharmacy. Salt water rinses are very effective for nasal disease. If you've recently had surgery, you should rinse four times a day for six weeks after surgery using boiled water. At other times, you can rinse once to twice a day. It's good to rinse prior to using your steroid nasal spray. You can also rinse after exposure to an irritant or an allergen that causes your nasal symptoms. For example, after gardening or cleaning. For more information, you can ask me or my practice nurse.